Okay, so I am going to be doing some preparation of pages for just for journaling on. And um, what I have is an insert uh, from Beth Solar's shop, Scrapping Wonders. I'm on the design team, but this isn't a design team video. I just got this because I wanted to try it. I got the same size in watercolor and I got the same size in a black insert. And this has Tomoe River paper, which I'm super excited about trying. Um, and this uh, cover came, it was white, I think cardstock or something. And I put on a piece of scrapbook paper and then I put on some dotted vellum paper and some washi. So that's because of this. I like the sound. <laughs> That's why I did it. So I'm just going to prepare pages. Um, you know, just whatever. Do whatever I want and have some fun and just see how it goes. Um, this is the start, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I think I'll be okay without clipping. So I have some watercolors out and I move those over here so I can use them. I have some other mediums sitting around uh, to try. Actually, I should pull out my gelatos because I want to try gelatos. I want to try ink. Um, I'm going to try some different methods and just decorate the pages and then eventually I'll go back and I'll use them for journaling. But I just thought it would be fun to, you know, give it a try and see, see how it turns out. So I'm going to, I just have Reeves watercolors that I bought, um, at Michael's just tubes and so I've got them in palettes and um, I just want to try some stuff so I'm just getting the water on and I'll just let it like flow back, whatever. I'm really just experimenting. It's kind of fun. Okay. And I'm going to add a tiny bit of another color in here. Maybe some orange. And I'm just going to let it run down. And I'll let this one run back. And then like this. Okay, so this paper is really soaked and um, it supposedly takes it really well, so I'm going to dry it. crazy there. <laughs> okay. Now, it hasn't dried all the way, which is per fine because I like to blot a little because when you blot, you get these little 
marks like this. So I think it looks really cool. So there, see? Oh my gosh, listen to the sound of the paper. It's heavenly. <laughs> okay. And I just watched Beth showed a video just recent, like her last one, on how she um, she just showed how she could do things in it. Just a little five minute video sampling so you could see um, what you can do. So some of these ideas I got from her. Um, I love watching Allie Brown, so I get ideas from Allie Brown as well. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of, I'm gonna see if I can get this to work. Let me see. I have some Distress ink. I have the Scattered Straw by Tim Holtz. So let me see if I can just get a tiny bit of um, this pattern. I'm just going to go ahead and do the same up here. Just want to get a little bit. Um, I don't feel like I need a lot. I believe this is a Tim Holtz stencil um, from some stamps I bought that it was part of the pack, if I recall. Okay, I like that. I think that's sufficient for that. And I just want to see if I want to add, you know, um, Maybe add a stamp or something to this. It's kind of fun just like playing, you know, experimenting with things and trying different stuff. Um, so I'm thinking a stamp. Let me see. I've got all kinds of cute stamps. And I love birds, and I've got these cute birds. Um, who is this one from? I'm not sure who this one is. <laughs> I cut the top off so I can open them easily, you know? And then, I don't know who they are. <laughs> so I'm using this Archival Ink Rangers because it's permanent and waterproof. So... I'm just gonna put my little birdie down right here. Oh, I love it, it is so cute, so cute. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. And I think I'm going to do just a tiny bit of um, decorating, maybe a border or something with a pan or something like that. I'm not sure yet. Um, I, oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, now this did go through. Um, so yeah, that's, that type of stamp is gonna go through, so that's a good thing to know. I do have a hard time knowing which stamps are going to go through and which stamps aren't. Um, it's just really hard to know. It really is. Okay, so I would like to do um, a little bit of a color in here. and I'm going to try a baby wipe and just um, um, this color stamp pad. This is Studio G, which is just um, from Michaels and I'm just going to add a little bit of color tiny bit on the bird maybe a little on his tail and then 
I can just like take some of that off like that. Okay, and just, um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of color here and there. Don't want a lot. I just want a little bit. Okay. All right, I think that's enough. And let's see. I said that I wanted to do a little bit of a border. So I think I will take the Le Pen, the 0 0.5, and just do um, this a border. Just a messy one. I've seen a lot of artists do borders. Um, a lot of people on like that do art journaling and stuff do borders. Um, I believe Kyra Pace does borders a lot and I just love it. So I'm kind of like going, just kind of, you know, copying her, but I'm gonna give her credit. Kyra Pace, um, you have to watch her channel. Just lovely journals. So it's just kind of messy. I'm not going to do um, anything else but that. And I like that. Yeah, good. Totally going with that for my first page. And then over here, I'm not going to worry about this. I'm going to decorate the page. Oh, I like this. And then I think I'm just going to put a sticker or something here to cover up the bird. Because um, it went through. But I like the color combination. And I'm going to do some more of these. I might do them online so that you all can, like, you know, see how they turn out and see different ways to do things. I might do gelato. I've, I've got my gelatos out, so I'll probably do something with gelato. So thanks for watching. Bye.